hello everyone welcome to d4 drupal channel today we are going to see about how to use hook view post render function so this is the function which will helps you to alter your view result before it is getting displayed which means in between the process of uh, render array and then display process so it will be same as like pre-process function once the render process is done before it is displaying, this hook will be called, okay? So we are going to use this hook to uh, alter our view results. So let's go to the uh, custom module and start our code. So I'm going to implement a hook called uh, hooks view uh, post render, implement hook views post render, this is the hook and function custom copy the argument with the hook name and this contains argument of views view object the complete object we have a namespace already and next is this is a render array that is the second argument here and next one is catchy plugin base you have to add namespace for it so this is the catchy plugin base namespace copy it and paste it there so you can uh, do catchy related stuff also in this hook for that particular view so i am going to add the same condition as we did for the pre-render pre So for the same view, what I am going to do now, I am going to uh, remove the first row of this particular view. So this is the output, right? This is the output in this output result. I am going to remove the first row, okay? So let's do that. So I am I'm going to do that with the render array. So print underscore or um, get type of dollar output exit so now we implement a new hook so clear the catchy okay this is a array array variable so get the array key okay array keys we have all these or the uh, key value. We are going to get a rows. So I know rows is also array variable. So I'm not going to use get type again. Just going to refresh. So this is the zeroth question. I know this is also an uh, array. So next one is row. Hash of row. And this is also an array. If you are not sure what type of variable it is, you can use get type here. Since I know this is an array, I'm just moving it with the array key function. And now you can see it is contains nine, uh, almost 10 element. So 10 rows, we are restricted in the view uh, in single page 10 contents. So it is displaying only 10 uh, rows here. So what we are going to do, we are going to unset the zeroth position so in the zeroth position, I am going to unset it. Unset of zeroth position. Array key should not be there. Unset. So let's comment it and uh, we'll show you the first row content. This is the first row content and uncomment it and refresh now clear the catchy when you scroll down you can see the first row is uh, unsetted so which means we removed the first row in our uh, post render in an 
render array okay and next we are going to remove the catchy so in catchy dollar catchy stands to options of result lifespan so result lifespan means uh, this catchy re represents the query result so we are disabling catchy for the query result and next you can do a uh, disable catchy for the output html so you have to disable catchy for output html by this way output lifespan zero okay save and go and refresh now so this is how you have to clear the catchy in your views post render function okay and that's it about today's video if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye